we are used to being beaten every weekend. So just, <laughs> just stay cool. That's on the lighter side. All right, let's quickly let you know that Tottenham uh, defeated Watford to go top of the EPL. Now, Tayo, uh, we've had this trend. That was either last season or last two seasons, they were just up there for a very long while and suddenly they faltered. Well, um, like uh, Joel said uh, when we started that, we need to start very early. And, um, they started they, very early, last yes. season, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Last season, they started very early. And the truth is, it was Mourinho that was there. This is a new manager, and you cannot just write off these guys. They don't score a lot of goals. They grind out the results. So it's not as if they are playing so fantastic uh, game, but they make sure they grind out results. So mm -hmm. it's a good one for them. And this uh, Santos has a way of um, encouraging those guys. And... No one can tell because Harry Kane is set to leave. So this season might just be a season. Might just pick up a trophy. Yes, he said he's playing for uh, Tottenham and he wants to give all his very best. Let's quickly move into something quite surprising. On Friday, we were here talking and there were permutations left and right. Well, suddenly, Christian Rado is a United player. I don't know what coup came up. I don't know because it was not glaring to anybody where he was going to. But suddenly... That deal was signed in Portugal. His medical was done in Portugal. That is the most uh, surprising element of the whole package. You know, um, when I heard the whole thing, you know, medical in Portugal, I knew somebody was beneath this whole thing. And that person is not a person that Judge Mendes, you know, the world best football agent. You know, this man is so influential. He calls, I mean, for God's sake, he tells Club, look, you're paying this guy this amount. Well, are, you sure, are you sure it wasn't the job, Ryan Giggs, and um, we run it hard on. Ronaldo, that you can't play for City. If you do that, you're a traitor. No, no, it, 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 it's not that. Because these guys, you don't tell them where to go to. Because sometimes it's all about the money. They, sometimes they put the money for it, sometimes they don't. But I think someone like Ronaldo, he's not just playing for the money right now, for the passion and for the love of the game. Mm. I think if he, if okay. he had gone... You should bring the 480k to Niger. <laughs> he's not playing for the but money. But I think if he, if he had gone to Man City, it would have be controversy and problems here. And I can tell, these English fans, these guys are crazy. They might just pull up one or two strings and start fighting and all that. Mm. So I think Ronaldo did something very political somehow mm -hmm. in order to avoid problems you know, within the whole Manchester family. Okay, Tyler, for you, there's something quite phenomenal that I want to bring out regarding this Ronaldo transfer to Manchester United. 36, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Messi, 36. Yeah, 34. 34, 35? Okay, 34, 35. Yeah. These are old men when it comes to football age. What do you really think Ronaldo will bring to Manchester United that they've not got him? Well, um, for me, I... Second spell, mind you. Second spell, and um, this guy is still playing at the very best. And just before he came on here, I was discussing with um, Joel and some other people that the reason why Ronaldo and Messi, we keep winning Ballon d'Or, the kind of training, the kind of work this guy does, you... There is no player now that can do it. Oh. I'm not rising off Kylian Mbappe, but this guy is... But there's, there's a player that can cut soup for you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> another thing is, Ronaldo might not come to play like the Ronaldo we used to know in, uh, in Manchester United back then. But they will be, the players will be playing under a new atmosphere. Seeing him on the bench. A new drive. You know, He's still gonna play the five kicks. times... <laughs> Five-time uh, Ballon d'Or winner, so having him is, a, is an encouragement to the young guys. So yes. and, and to me, I think having so, I mean, a player like Ronaldo, you know, he's telling the young guys at the pitch, you have to put in your best. Because when I was here before, I won the world best. So that was you before. Just have to, yeah, that was before. Yeah, I mean, this is not, and there is nobody that Ronaldo has, is just is coming the there to be won the ball, uh, best player, FIFA best player in Premier League. That's true. That's true. But 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 somebody told me that he's porting from Arsenal to Manchester United. Because Ronaldo is back by my, uh, my and I asked him why. He said because any day Arsenal will play my Ronaldo will score, so he will prefer <laughs> to be in my use Jesse. But that's just by the lighter side. Let's quickly say congratulations to Cristiano Ronaldo. He has done it. He has what it takes: four hundred and eighty pounds a week. That's quite massive, if you ask me. And it's a two-year deal that will run till twenty twenty-four. As it is, Ian Acho is telling us that he is. In the life of, uh, in the form of his life, he came from the bench to help Leicester City to pick a vital win against Norwich. Tyler. Yes, it's a good one, and he started at the tail end of last season, getting the important goals, and he, he actually started from where he stopped. So it's a good one. It's a fantastic one for him 
and uh, Wilfred Enedi. But what I will always say is they should replicate this for the Super Eagles. They'll cut soap for themselves. Don't worry. They'll cut soap. <laughs> okay, to round up the program, let's tell you, let's tell you that um, Awoni is really giving serious sign to get across that guy. Look into my direction, Joel. I think I only is telling the world that he is a top, top notch striker. You see, after the under 17, 2013, I was like, okay, fine. There's this player, everybody's not looking up to. I, I mean, I want to eat Taiwo. This guy has given a lot of football, you know, keep getting the loan spell. And this loan spell really helped him a lot. He's on five goals right now in the German all yeah. competitions, two goals in the league, two games, two goals. You understand what I'm saying? And right now, Gerardo has no choice than to bring this guy in. He might, yeah. end, up, he might end up being one of the highest scorers in the German league. All right, we'll see how it goes. I want to congratulations. Keep doing what you know how to do best. That's how we'll round up the show this afternoon. It's been fantastic having Joel and Tyre right here in the studio. Thanks for having me. And also, big thanks to Dada turning the camera in the right direction. Not forgetting Michael and Joseph and Francis and the Amotech himself. Amen. And big thanks to everyone of you that have been part of this show this afternoon. Stay tuned to Super Screen Television till we meet on Wednesday. Bye for now. <laughs>